Look at these birdies. There's a couple really huge ones, but they're not out anymore. Cause I came out here to do some yard work. So honeysuckle started growing this year and I have blackberries too. But the honeysuckle made me think of when I was in elementary school. We had it in our elementary school yard, like by the playground, and we used to eat it, so they removed them. And I didn't realize until like high school there's a variation of honeysuckle that is indeed poisonous. <laughs> Luckily that's not what was at my elementary school. <laughs> and look what's in the front. Y'all, I've been annoying myself so bad, so I'm shooting up somewhere else and they did a hotel for Thursday to Friday, but I'm actually shooting on Friday. I thought I was shooting on Thursday, so I can just like leave in the morning. But it's Friday, and so I'm already at the place, but check in the hotel is like in the afternoon, and I'm like, either way, it's better to be up here early because I don't want to hit traffic, but I probably still would have waited like an hour and now I'm just like here. Okay, so I'm gonna watch a movie. It starts in about 30 minutes. I decided to take like a little quick nap while I was in the car waiting. And now my foot is asleep. I'm trying to walk in. Already I am checked into my room and John Wick was really, really good. I don't know, I wasn't expecting it. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly, but I actually really, really loved it. Um, Cause I was briefly talking about it with uh, Jim Dowdy and he was mentioning Filipino martial arts is really good as what you should study if you're really looking to do stunts and things like that. And it turns out there are a few places near me that do train in Kali. So I'm going to look into that. And yeah. My roomie's not here yet. Not sure what time she's getting in. But this place is really cute. We're at the Windham. It's spelled Windham, but I'm assuming it's Windham. Um, look at the bedspread. It's really cute. Yeah. It's just nice. Simple room. Okay, that's it. Shooting tomorrow and then heading home and then class. Actually, I'm going to get something to eat. I have returned. I got Mandarin. I was debating between Mandarin and Tamarin and ended up with Mandarin. Back again. I do know I had told her that I'm allergic to gluten, but I'm guessing when I got the tacos, I forgot to say corn. So, give me flour because that's normal. Um... I forgot this is not twist off. I was thinking that when I grabbed it and then yeah, so. Ah, good old house keys. Although there was a slight casualty the first time I tried the key. You taste the ceviche. The ceviche I might end up putting in the fridge and in the morning. Breakfast is from six to nine. I'll probably get up for breakfast this time around, but in case I don't, I'm gonna make ceviche myself one day. Don't ask me how soon one day is. Probably shouldn't sit on the window sill. Mmm, my tacos. These are shrimp chipotle. I should have showed you before stacking you. You see? I got some avocado to put on them. And then, of course, you know, it's got... I haven't been able to find tangerine juice in the store recently. It's been a little while since I've last been in the theater, but I actually do enjoy it. So maybe I'll do another little theater date soon. What should I see, guys? The chips are missing the salt crystals. Ooh, black and white. The Andy Griffith Show. Ooh, this is so old. 1962. No, oh, hitch is on. So is snapped. This chow house. I love the size of these tacos. It's technically half eaten, but it's not. I guess I should have taken a picture of my food spread before I started recording as well. Since I'm about to stop recording, I'll go ahead and do that. That is quite aesthetic. Actually, I forgot I signed up for a webinar tonight at 7 and there's no replay, so hmm. I figured out how to turn captions off and then I need them back on because of my uh, webinar. 
goodness. Oh my god. Okay, the webinar is not starting, so I don't care anymore. They're waiting for the host to show up, um, and he's about to be 20 minutes late, so, um, no. Okay, so I had to change rooms. Um, my roommate's still not here yet, but that's fine. I am home, and I just finished up with my, my class. Ah, ha, ha. Filming went really well, and that, that hotel is... I don't know if I'm going to put the, the hotel debacle in there. They haven't used... This is the first time that they had used that hotel. Um, but yeah, other than that, filming was great. And my last class... Well, of this, of the classes, this is the last one. And it was also really great. However, part of the... After filming, because we were at uh, on location where we had a drink, and I got a rum punch... And for some reason, it didn't occur to me that, you know, rum punch, they're probably going to do like coconut or pineapple and use uh, coconut, Malibu coconut rum because I tasted it as soon as I sipped it and I was like, ah, but it was really good. But now at this end of the day, when I'm not doing anything anymore, my stomach, my stomach is settling and disagreeing with me heavily. And I was like, ah. But that's my bad. Oh well. I almost forgot to add the mango. But I didn't. Yum. I think this might just be a video of all cooking. I have tomato sauce ready to go in and basmati on the side. I almost forgot to show you. <laughs> Anyways, it's good. And that's pomegranate tea. I'm so annoyed. I had thought I escaped coconut oil. Damn you. Alrighty. I am headed to see Dominique. She's finally left that horrible place and she's now somewhere else for the time being. I'm gonna go get a facial and yeah. Here's the look. The right hand. And the left, and Tiger's Diamond Stone, Aritzia leggings, undershirt, bow. Oh, these are Vogue from Sunglass Hut, and the bag is from Ross. Oh, and these are skater shoes. No, I do not skateboard. Um, these are Osiris brand. I don't think they make them anymore, but they're comfy. Taking the metro before and after getting a facial seems counterproductive, but. DC. So, luckily I was expecting to have some delays, so I'm not upset. <laughs> but I was heading northeast instead of northwest, so, you know, just getting my exercise in. Hi! Hello! I'm here with Kai. I'm going to be giving her a beautiful treatment today. We're going to do a before and after so you guys can see. But yes, are you excited? How do you feel? I'm about to feel wonderful. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Period. Ooh, I look all. Ooh, I look so cozy. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so nice tell them. Cozy. Tell them what you said about my skin okay. and how it's Okay, so we just analyzed Kaya's skin. <laughs> well, her her skin type is combination. So I would say oily T zone, but she's more so on the drier side right now. That's the current condition of her skin. Um, she has some congestion in the nasal area, the chin, and just some sebaceous filaments in the forehead. However, her um, the skin clarity is beautiful. She has great elasticity, so that is all great. So we're just gonna brighten her up today and give her lots of hydration. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> You can go ahead and tell them. So we're actually um, in the process of steaming, as you can see. So the steaming is going to pretty much open up the pores, um, also detox the skin as well. But this process just makes it easier to do those extractions. So we're going to get into some extractions <laughs> for the blackheads. All that, and then we're going to, instead of brightening, we're going to do anti-aging. Yes. Yeah, so we're doing high frequency. I don't know if my thing is so close. 
Okay, so we're going into high frequency. So high frequency is actually excellent because it works as an antiseptic. So it kills all the bacteria in the skin, but it also gets the oxygen going. So when oxygen, when oxygen is present, bacteria cannot live, it cannot thrive. So we want all of that gone. You should not feel any activity in the skin, but you will smell a medicine. Look, in, in true esthetician fashion, she's clocking me about my sunscreen use. <laughs> Which I do use it when I'm going outside. And reapply. And that's what I need to do. <laughs> We're gonna secondary exfoliate. And then what's what's the, in case I forget to film, what, what are the, the rest of the steps? Because this, this is a multi-step place. <sighs> Oxygen, mm -hmm. and then after oxygen, we'll go into LED, and then after LED, we'll go into some cryo. Oh, yes. I'm excited about the cryo. Ooh, what color LED are we using? We're gonna do, we're gonna do some red LED, so some anti aging and calm inflammation. Yeah. Oh, I should have expected that since we're doing anti aging. <laughs> Into like the hydration and correcting sounds, etc. Et awesome. So I was telling you, typically I try and double cleanse. I do vitamin C in the morning and I do retinol at night. And that's pretty much it. And moisturize. Mm -hmm. So this is the, what is it called? This is called the Pure Lift. The so pure this lift is going the to nuts. lift and sculpt the face. We're doing one side at a time so I can see the difference. Two rounds of each side, so now we're going into the second pass of writing. Now we lift in your brows. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you can actually see. Little the villain action. <laughs> uh huh. Because I was like, wait a minute, are you holding your. And this just. Nope. Your face is just nice and lifted. Girl, these people about to be jealous it's of so these brows. Your face be like so lifted. Mm -hmm. Just like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yes, high eyebrows. Oops. Oh, you're fine. I feel like you can even see the difference like where it settles after. Mm -hmm. Looks like a hair dryer. <laughs> mm -hmm, it does look like a hair dryer. Oh, I can hear the water. So now we're doing some cryotherapy. So this is going to penetrate product into the skin while also calming any inflammation. Also helps with deep puffing the face, especially after a lovely night out on the town. This is also. Um, if you're familiar with the cold globes, this is a bougie cold globe. You cannot get this from Amazon. Okay. Woo. We are all set. Can you see the difference? She's like, oh yes, the brows are up. You can tell, definitely tell by the brows with the pure lift. Mm -hmm. Nice and snatched and lifted. Anti-aging. If I didn't know you better, I'd say I had no shots. <laughs> yes, I think that's My forehead looks looks frozen slightly. Okay. <laughs> Ever so slightly. Yes. Um, and then, so, this location's not open yet. It'll be open next week. Dominique will be where? I'll be at the Silver Mirror and in Navy Yard. Although, but you'll be here by the time this is up. Yes, yes. I'll be in Navy Yard. So, we are... 
But you're coming there when this one opens. No. Oh, you'll no. still be in New York? Okay. So she'll be in New York permanently. New York's not far. Actually, New York close to me. Oh, for my parents. Where are you? I am, I come on the yellow line. Oh, okay. You can, I can go on the green line. line. Yes. Yeah. We'll figure it out. But come see me. Check me out. Snatch face. Yes. Doing. Those like before and afters, and I'm like, your face looks like they just spathered something on it, but like it's like, oh, the difference. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to listen to Alien Superstar on the way home. <laughs> this Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask is the first to be on the market that was FDA cleared. Oh, yes, you can get it here. And then here, mm -hmm. we are the only people besides Dr. Gross himself that has a Dr. Dennis Gross chemical field. So you can only get it here at Silver Mirror or at Dr. Dennis Gross from himself. Ooh, so cute. Alrighty, is my starting spread. That's snow crab, salmon, squid, sweet shrimp, and real crab. So no gluten-free soy sauce, but it's fine. So I added some mackerel and octopus. Got some wasabi and this is delicious. All of it's good, but that's delicious. I grabbed a tuna with garlic oil. I'm thinking about grabbing the albacore when it comes back, but we'll see. That thing delivering drinks is so cute. And anyway, I have like semi-arranged them in my favorites and which ones I'm gonna finish off first. I decided not to pick up much more and so I grabbed a watermelon to refresh. But then conch came around and I was like, I have not had that before. I'm assuming it's like oystery, but we'll see. A little crunchier, a little butterier. I, pre I prefer octopus. Yeah. Alrighty, I left the sushi restaurant at the perfect time to catch my train. So I am in the lot and I actually have to stop by the store very briefly just to get um, two things. And then uh, finish prep my class tomorrow and sleep like a baby. Anyways, I'm gonna have to get back into regular facials because they're just so nice. Um, but yeah, because I had that detour, like this is, <laughs> this is how I know I've been out of DC too long because even when I was looking at the map, I was like, this is probably close to the Metro Center exit, a gallery. And then I ended up going like in the opposite direction, like for no reason. Um, but anyways, I ended up with a good workout, but because I've been off on my record a little bit, I need some tape for my knee and I don't have any. So, there's that. This is kind of a problem because it hurts. Um, but not the knee, it's the side of my knee, the muscle is tight. So I need my tape to stretch it. But I'll ice it when I get home anyways. This bunny never went that far. The other one is right over there. But this one also hasn't moved the entire time. And there's a woodpecker behind me. I can only see its shadow from where I'm standing. Look, she's okay with my presence now. I'm literally right next to him. Well, I called it her and then I called it him. That's so rude. Y'all, it's so funny. I cut maybe five of these out of my yard. Not right here, but I did pick them up well, no, like I set them aside to take them to the back with a bunch of other stuff. And now they're just like all <laughs> sprouting. <laughs> okay, so I just Google lensed it and it says it's milkweed, which is in fact a weed. <laughs> and there's quite a bit of it popping up. But apparently butterflies go in it. So you're supposed to like wait until after like late spring for butterflies. I don't think there are any butterflies in them. And we have a, another beautiful acai bowl. There's some strawberry and blueberry. I ended up putting a little bit too much liquid in when I was mixing. 
but it's fine. Some drizzled honey, some granola, and mango. Hey guys, so I'm over here cooking up just the vegetables and making some tea. Tomorrow is the first day of rowing. Um, we start a little later than actual rowing season because we lease our boats from the high schools. But I'm gonna skull this year. I'm excited about it. I'm nervous excited, um, but like more so excited than nervous. Anyway, a little nervous cause like, you know, my, my calves and my knees were a little bit tight. So, you know, pushing that boat anyway. Lots of conversations about AI going on, cause, you know, with strikes and yes, there are natural fears, but I'm like all the movies we have about AI and you'd think that they would tone some of this stuff down. But then like, I was also thinking about Smart House. I remember how Disney used to have the movies down pat. I don't remember if they had smell of vision. I know they, I think they had it in Willy Wonka, but I was like, you know, cause when I be cooking and like, I want to show you guys and stuff like that. I'm like, it smells so good. I don't want you to smell it. But like, that's really like the only thing that like, I want them to like focus on. I'm sure like there are some other benefits to AI of course, but you know, some of the other scary things that like they should already realize are gonna happen. It's just like, Mm. Last day of learning row. I'm gonna ride in the launch. Race is done. We definitely got at least one win. So I plucked these little berries up from my yard. They're quite fragile, as you can see. Oh, you are blurry. Alrighty, I am finally watching Young Famous in African and I have food on the stove, obviously, and my rice is reheating because it's leftover and I have to make some more tea or, oh no, I'll finish my peach juice maybe. Mm. Alrighty, food is done. I am really not feeling swanky or bonang or god damn it I'm so sorry I just forgot her name the girl that's fucking with diamond mm -hmm. oh guys this looks even better in person but it smells so good don't ask me about the sauce I don't remember first day of sculling was fabulous oh why am I touching my face anyway I really, really want french fries. She must have to go to the store. But I was trying to wait for farmer's market. There's that, oh wait, no, because this one today, are you past, I didn't get up earlier. Um, do I want to wait till Sunday or do I just want to go to the store and grab potatoes? But then it's like, which one has the best produce? The potatoes are sometimes kind of iffy and I'm just like, but I want french fries. And it costs the same amount to buy a bag of potatoes as it does to get french fries in a drive through so obviously I just pull out my deep fryer. But then I'm like, ah, oh, can I just go home and like, make some rice and something. I'm trying to think. What can I put and crisp up? I should bring a wrappers and stuff. Whatever. Anyways, I was in the quad today, and Miller, it's Coach Miller, she said, smoothest, best first day quad ever. She'd put us in a race right now, so.